Fam, a crash and a protest. First, the accident. A truck driver hits a utility pole and keeps going while the pole hits a pedestrian. WBZ's Katie Brace is live at that scene tonight. And Katie, then the striking Verizon workers showed up. And Lisa, that brings us to where we are right now with the workers who are still striking on the ground here and then up above trying to work to repair that pole, the temporary workers. And this is just one piece to a story that's been hours in the making. The loud boom. That noise is what brought everyone outside. A piece of this shattered pole hit a woman walking on the sidewalk. Witnesses say her injuries were obvious. One of the pieces of the pole broke her arm. Louis Ladopoulos, who works at the garage across the street, saw the reason for the commotion. He didn't stop or anything. He was pulling the wires and everything. I know. I said, whoa, I thought he was going to stop any minute. No, he was just keep going. A landscaper driving this dump truck turned left onto Bacon Street in Waltham, hitting the Verizon telephone pole. You can see the damage to the top of the truck. Brian Ledger owns Lou's custom exhaust directly behind the damaged pole. We don't have phones, so... We don't have any business right now. And as you can tell, this is going to be quite a mess to repair. With Verizon workers currently on strike, the city improvised using a city dump truck to hold up the pole. Have some respect. When Verizon's temporary workers arrived, striking employees were ready. You're a dirty, rotten scam. By now, most of the workers were done for the day. They say police didn't have to look far for the driver who started this. He lives around the corner. It's disgusting. disgusting. I mean, especially to leave a poor woman oh. on the corner there with an arm broken. probably broken. The woman who is in her 30s was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The driver and an attorney later showed up at the police station, and he said he didn't realize he hit anything. Reporting live in Waltham, Katie Bryce, WBC News. Katie, thank you. Her silence in the end was.